Hey guys, it is Lance and Damien from Three Kings Firearms here again today after a very long time of not shooting any fucking video. Well, we, shot plenty, we video. shot plenty of video. Well, we have plenty of video edited, but what uh, we are out here today in uh, the not quite hot desert yet. Oh, it's getting And uh, well, Damien has a new toy. I have a in progress toy and uh, we kind of want to go over it. So Damien, uh, obviously you have kind of a, a Mark 12 set up here. Go ahead, talk about that, and then I'll talk about this M16. So this is a factory PRI Mark 12 Mod O Zupper, uh, a Zupper, Upper, 18-inch uh, barrel, a uh, shitty PSA lower that it came on. Um, and this is the one in seven twist PRI. One right? in seven P twist PRI. Okay, correct. So why did you want to go with something like uh, a Mark 12 in the Mod Zero configuration, or or really kind of like the the Dorecki? The Recky SPR. Why? Why? Why go with a precision uh, five five six versus getting a bolt gun or gas gun three oh eight or six five or? So it's a cheap way to get into long distance shooting, um, farther than like everyone's twelve inches or eleven fives or whatever yeah. can reach out to. And when we talk about long range shooting, we're actually talking about long range shooting we're not talking about bubba shooting 80 yards and that's the farthest he's ever shot yeah, in his i'll life. shoot my pistol 100 yards yeah so. yeah so we're, we're talking we're talking actual effective distance that the mark 12 was used at 800 thousand yeah. uh 800's kind of the stretch, max that's really stretching at a thousand socom really designed it to maximize reach out to the with their uh moa and um but i don't know i just thought the rifle was aesthetic um, so I wanted, I wanted one. I also thought that with the common or the modern technology that we have, uh, there are probably ways this rifle could be, uh, improved, which I want to try and look at further in the future. But right now I just have a Mark V HD on here on a spur mount and everything else is factory besides the lowers, obviously, like I said, a shitty PSA that it came on, um, mil spec, uh, style. It's a MP3 polished trigger. Um, but other than that, it's really just a, a base rifle. But not clone correct. Not clone correct, I don't have a Mark IV. Um, but I figured more magnification doesn't hurt. I mean, I'm not gonna reach out with the 18X and hit anything, but we have a 6.5 here, we have, a, we have a 308 bolt gun here. So I might be able to call hits for someone else at that distance, which is obviously the magnification would be nice for that. We have some spotting scopes too, but yeah. just having a gun up and okay. stuff is fun. So you, you did not want to build a Mark 12 because you wanted to clone a Mark 12. No. You like the concept of the Mark 12. I like 12. the concept of the Mark 12, and uh, and I think it was executed very well for the time, obviously, early GWAT. Um, and I just, I do think they are aesthetic rifles. Now, speaking of GWAT, I have here uh, a work in progress clone of one of my issued rifles, I was issued three rifles, uh, an M16A4. So, I bought this off some fucking dude on Instagram. I bought the upper receiver, it's a Colt, it's got the CAC rail, it's got the correct ACOG. And when I say correct ACOG, the Marine, the Marine Corps issues two types of ACOGs. They have an RCO for the M16A4, where the round is specific, or the RCO is specifically calibrated for a 62 grain M855 out of a 20 inch. And then they also had the same thing for their 14 and a half inch M4s. So this is the correct ACOG. I got it for him like fifteen hundred bucks or something like that. You got the whole upper for the the price whole of upper ACOG. for like fifteen hundred bucks. So I basically bought the ACOG. And you got the A2 stock for free. Yeah. Because <laughs> I found it at fucking at a Salvation, Salvation Army, Army for eight dollars. Eight dollars. For eight dollars. Already had the arrow lower. Uh, I do have an eighty percent lower that I am going to mill out. Um, I have the same exact serial number I used. Uh, it's. I'm going to swap the specific upper out for hopefully an FN surplus might be a little hard to find these days because you're not really finding a whole bunch of fn surplus m16 uppers out there so i might just have to settle and go with just a regular fn upper but um the reason that we have both of these out there today is that you know the mark 12 has a really interesting history is that it kind of really started with the m16 yeah they wanted to do the mark 12 as a heavier profile m16 basically they wanted a, a 20 inch barrel and uh and it was just going to be a heavier barrel profile uh, to reach out more accurately and uh, obviously the mark 262 was designed alongside it um, 
So they wanted a 20 inch. Navy said, well, we already have 20 inch barrels. What do you need a 20 inch yeah, what, barrel what do you, for? What do you need custom match 20 inch barrels for? We have these government barrels, just use those. And so SOCOM, so they're like, fine, we'll take two inches yeah. off and we'll, we'll get take our two inches profile. off. Now you got to now you got to purchase an actual barrel for us. Yeah. Um, so what we're really trying to do here today is a couple things. This is a new rifle for him. So he's going to test out a couple different lows of factory ammunition to see what kind of this likes the best. And then we're going to we're going to shoot three, four, five, six, eight hundred yards. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're going to we're going to shoot some distance and we're going to see. If it is really kind of a marginal improvement, now this isn't really scientific in, in, yeah. in any sort yeah, of way. So our testing will be way. scientific. Obviously, when they developed the Mark 12, they did a lot of scientific testing. Uh, it was kind of proven that with the round that the uh, M16A2 was kind of, and plus was kind of developed with, uh, it was more of like a minute of man. Like you'd get a pretty large dispersion at 800, whereas the Mark 12 basically cut that dispersion in half I, to I believe, about 18 inches You and I were wide. talking about this earlier. I believe the Mark 12 at 800 yards had about 18 inches. Average man's chest from shoulder to shoulder is about 18 inches. And the M16 had about... About 36. About, about 36. Almost you give can or still, take You could still probably reliably hit a, a man-sized target two out of three times yeah. with that. So, so really what we're trying to figure out here is if... If the juice is worth the squeeze. If the juice is kind of really worth the squeeze here, if... Now, obviously, it's not clone correct. Not everything's the same. Not everything's the same on my rifle, but the concepts are the same. And we're gonna we're gonna see if we can figure it out today, albeit with a limited ammo supply. Yeah, we only have about um, 50 rounds for this of mixed ammunition. Uh, we're gonna zero it in right now, and uh, and then we'll start taking it out. Uh, we're probably not gonna do many groups. We're gonna probably start trying to hit the steel after we zero it. Yeah. Uh, so basically, my plan is um do some groups with this at 100 just to see what rounds it likes and then start trying to stretch its legs out there but we're just trying to do a short day have some fun um but we figured we'd make a video out of it because we haven't uploaded in god knows how long so a while yeah a while it's been a while okay let's get to it sure But the Mark 12. That's so when we talk, I probably pulled that one hard. So. When we when we talk uh, <laughs> when we when we talk Mark 12, this is what people talk about. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is fantastic. Like literally one more, you could have done a ladder. Yeah. That's and beautiful. I, and I was just holding center dot. I mean, I'm, I don't have the best like. So you want, this was your first shot. Second, third. I told you to breathe. Those are fourth and fifth. So, I mean, I'm still happy with that, and that's just the oh, first yeah. five out with performance ammo. Yeah. So beautiful. Good job. That trigger. All right, so we got the Sig 77 grain OTM. I don't think they use a Sierra projectile because this shit's all over the place. Uh, this is Tony's group, 3 MOA. Pretty About. much ass, just like every other thing Sig makes. And then this is the Mark 12 group. Not much better, two, two and a half maybe. Um, in, in comparison, it looks really bad. Compared to that, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'll be buying more of that stuff. Yeah. So that's really all we want. We're gonna keep just hammering on. So this is the Hornady 75 grain 556. Five, These are a little spicier. Uh, it's not anything out of the Mark 12 compared to the Federal. That Federal just. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, you're also gonna remember we're uh, 15 rounds in. We're letting little, him cool little off hotter. a little bit, but it's hot outside. It's probably 100 degrees out here. I don't know. I definitely want to test this stuff out more later. I'd like to buy more because it is the highest velocity ammo we have. Yeah. Uh, I do eventually want to try and get my hands on some 262. Oh, I wonder uh, I wonder how much that group would shrink with a suppressor on there because that as well. every... I mean, if they put a... Because they... The suppressor shrinks the groups quite a bit on the Mark 12, so this one would probably be 
two thirds the size. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and that one would probably be closer to like the the federal. Yeah. So I, I am I am curious on what a proper yeah, suppressor on there would like be like. I'll probably buy some more boxes of this stuff because I was really pulling for it, and I mean it is second best so far. Um, but it's got the most velocity out of the rounds we have yeah. today. Uh, so I definitely like to do more testing with it because honestly, that's still killing somebody. <laughs> as just as good as I, that is. So these three groups out of the Mark 12, easily still killing someone. Oh yeah. Easily. You know, it's just how, how tight can we possibly get? Do you want a fist? Do you want a thumb? Yeah. You know, well, I mean, cause like the velocity is going to obviously at further ranges. Yeah. It's going to do, it's going to do more. Yeah. So Tony, you're going back to your Russian heritage. You're going eight M away minute. Yeah, dude, that's like a dragon off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to the next. But this is the Fiocchi 69 grain. Nice. Yeah. Mark 12. Uh, obviously I'm holding up here, but it's fucking dialed for 55s right now. Very close to the federal. Very close. Very close. In fact, if you do both those groups again, it, you might swap results. Yeah. Okay. So number one for the Mark 12 right now is federal. Federal. Uh, second, third. I'm still very interested in the Hornady stuff. So okay, so so federal second. I'm sorry, federal first. So far. Fiocchi 69 grain second. Hornady 75. Five five six third six last place hundred percent. Um, that seventy seven green Fioki is going to do way better. Than yeah, last, the, so. and the the six seventy seven OTMs are dead last. Hundred percent. It's not bad. One and a half. Yep. The OG seventy sevens. Got one and a half. All right. So uh, we decided to be fair after shooting all that ammo through uh, the Mark Twelve. I've got some sixty two green green tip. This is calibrated for 62 grain green tip. Between each barrel, so this should be pretty, pretty damn accurate for what the uh, the M16 should be able to shoot. So, I give it a shot. Twenty inch barrel, one and seven twist, chrome line, six two grain. You know, one flyer, I guess, if you want to cherry pick out of five. I'd say if we were shooting nine shot groups, it'd be more accurate. But you know, what is that? Probably two MOA. Perfectly. Two and acceptable. a quarter. But you exclude that flyer at this distance. You're better than the six seventy seven. Yeah. You're better yeah. than an LMT that costs yeah. quadruple so, money. Uh, you know, you get some you get some good ammo, especially for calibrated for that BDC. You know, this is kind of what you could basically expect out of a, you know, an M16 that is gauged correctly in good order. A lot of the problems you see with the M16 and the M4, especially in the military, is uh, they've they're clean to the point where the bluing is coming off. Uh, they're beat to shit. They're not well maintained. They're not gauged. The lower receivers are cracked <laughs> and purple. Yeah. Uh, my issued M16 had a purple lower receiver. It was older than I am, I believe. Uh, and it still shot really good. It's shot about this. So as long as your barrel and your bolt carrier and your bolt are good, that's about what you can expect out of an M16. Um, perfectly acceptable. But even then, even perfectly acceptable, I can concede that the Mark 12 is a good direction to go down because you shrink this. When we talk about precision rifles, even in an urban setting that the Mark 12 was used in a lot, if you can be more precise, if you can aim small, miss small, and actually not miss. Well, especially at distance. We were talking about dispersion earlier. We're not going to get a chance to test that today because we're frying out here, but. We are going to shoot some more rounds out of the Mark 12, some of the 62 grain, just to see what it puts on paper. Uh, we also have a 16 inch BCM, is that what Clay's got? Yep. Yeah. And your 16 inch LMT, we're going to all we'll shoot. Have to so, that in here real quick. yeah, let's, let's, let's bust that in and get the fuck out of here.
So this is the Mark 12, 62 grains, five rounds. I pulled this one high, I guess. I was aiming center, but my all my rounds are dropping low today. Uh, this is our buddy Clay's five round group. He's shooting a 16 inch or 14 five inch BCM. 16, I think. 16 inch BCM. And then the LMT kind of ended up with, actually, that's your group, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so this is his group, or... Somewhere in there. Some of these headshots were already here, but somewhere, yeah, somewhere in here is his five round group. <laughs> Which again, it's really mostly vertical stringing, but he's, yeah. he's aiming here, and he's about four inches right. Yeah. All Crazy. Right. Crazy. And you know, it's interesting to see that when you shoot the standard military load, the Mark 12 and the M16 are not that different. Honestly, that's about the same. It's, it's about the same. I mean, even excluding the flyer, my group is bigger. Yeah, it's, I mean, man, it's that just chalk that up to me and you fucking heat it It's sample size of one. All of this is sample size of one. Sample size of one. We are out here fucking cooking ourselves in 100 degree heat. <laughs> but it, it is interesting to see that with normal green tip, which would be used between both of them at the same time. It's interesting to see that about the same. About the same. So, I mean, we're not gonna, we're not gonna.